got some games and stuff you're looking for. Games? What kind of games? I like looking at games. Are they set prices or? Uh. Oh, it's sealed. I like I like bundle deals. That one's sealed too. I mean, what would you do for the whole box? Just to get it out of your way, I guess. What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. In today's video, I'm gonna to go to the flea market and the Goodwill bins. I've never done both in the same day, so it should be a good video. Stick around. What's up, Josh? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, is it Zo or Zote? Zote. Zote, Zote. okay, yep. cool. What you asking for the Nikes? The ones on the front, all thing up here is 10, these are 10, and the ones on this row are 20 each. 20 each, okay, yep. that's fair. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give you 10 for these Nikes up here. Appreciate it, buddy, as always. Yep. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Shout out Sister Name Picker. Oh, you got a Gremlin. That's cool. I got some games and stuff. You looking? Games? What kind of games? I like looking at games. Xbox One. You can just look through them. I ain't stopping you, man. Just look whatever you want to look at. You know? Okay. I appreciate that. Galaxy. That's a fun one. Are they set prices or? Uh. That one's sealed. See what you want. Okay. Me and you will talk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to buy the whole box from me? Hey, me and me, good deal on. I like I like bundle deals. That one's sealed too. Yeah, some of them sealed. Well, pretty good on the but not all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vice City. Black Ops. Fable. Got a couple I'm interested in, but I mean, what would you do for the whole box? Just to get it out of your way, I guess. 60 on all of them? Yeah, man. I would just say $5, 5 10, Yeah, I'll do 60 60, on it. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Yeah, yeah I, that's, I mean. That's, that's fair. You all right, my friend? You shake your mic, Lebo. I mean. Oh, I. <laughs> You I, had a, I, had a, I had a Red Bull about oh, 10 minutes ago. Oh, uh, that's why you shaking. Yeah, yeah. I got to wake up, man. Yeah. Could uh, you put them in your bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave I, you there. I got to have my thoughts for my... I understand. Drink. Yeah, anything else? Damn, B. Anything else? You looking at that, um, that little thing up there? You were interested in here? Oh, yeah, the Gremlin. Yeah. You want to throw it in? Since I <laughs> still got all your... Uh, yeah. How about, um, how about six bucks for him? Six bucks. Yeah. Mm. He's cool, but I don't think I need him for six. Right, let me walk around. I might, I might come back. I appreciate the deal, man. I think the coolest thing about this video game pickup was that the games were not on this guy's table when I walked up. I guess he took one look at me and thought that I looked like some video game collector or something. So he brought out, I think it was 15 or 16 games. Of course, the first thing we saw was the Super Mario Galaxy. That's about a 20 or $25 game last I checked. But the coolest thing, another cool thing about this pickup was that there were three factory sealed video games in that lot. This is by far the best one. This is Lord of the Rings, the two towers for the original Xbox. It is factory sealed, but uh, I mean, you guys can see there's some tears in, in the seal. So it's, I don't think it's worth getting graded. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you have sealed video games, there's actually a company called WADA, W-A-T-A. -A. You can send your sealed games off to be graded, kind of like people would grade, you know, sports cards or Pokemon cards. There are two sold comps for this exact game in new sealed condition on eBay. One sold for, I think, $69 and one sold for $129, I believe. So seeing the condition of those sold listings compared to the condition of my the, the copy I have in, in my possession now, I don't think it's going to be worth getting graded. People that are buying graded video games want them to be in almost perfect condition. And if I sent this off to get graded, I don't think it would get a very good grade at all. I mean, look at that. There's a huge tear, a huge tear right there. Uh, so I will sell this on eBay as new, um, new sealed and just disclose all the tears in the plastic. I'm probably going to list this. There's none available for purchase right now and only two sold comps. So I think I'm going to list mine for probably one, $109.99 free shipping, turn on best offer and see what happens. It may take a while to sell, but 
uh, this was definitely a good pickup. We paid 60 bucks for all the games. This will sell for close to 100 bucks, I, I think. The other two sealed games aren't worth a ton. This NHL 2K10 and Pirates of the Caribbean for PlayStation 2. Those are maybe 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping each. Super Mario Galaxy is another 20 bucks. So I think all in all, once we sell all the lower value games and this one, I, we may have a profit of like 200 to 250 bucks somewhere somewhere around there. So definitely a great haul for a secret hidden video game uh, lot at the flea market. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good. Some clamps, cassette tapes. Cool. I like the big one. The big one sounds really, really good. Oh yeah. Chantel Fondure. That's pretty interesting. What are you asking for that? I've been asking 20 for it. I don't know anything about bells, so maybe that's a really good price. I don't know. <laughs> uh, look, look, them up, look that up on eBay and you'll see what they're... Look, that's a good idea. Let's... Are you recording now? Uh, yeah, I record the whole time I'm out here just in case something cool happens. No, I didn't know if you had a YouTube channel or not. I, I do. It's called oh, Harry, okay. Harry Tornado. Called what? Harry Tornado. Harry, Harry like Tornado. beard. Because mm -hmm. I'm on YouTube a good bit. I'll look that up. Yeah, I, <laughs> a lot of my recent videos have been out here. I watch a lot of a lot of the videos on YouTube with, for yard sales. So yeah. It's fun. Who do, who do you watch already? Honestly, I don't know the... I don't know that I've just got yeah, you just, three or four of them that I usually watch. So that's the way to do fine. it. You don't you don't care who the creator is. You just watch the best videos that yeah. you the, the videos you like. Yeah, it looks like there's one that sold for fifty five bucks. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll tell you, you don't have change for a fifty, do you? I do not. Hmm. Let me let me walk around see if I can find something else. Get some change. All right. I appreciate you. Good morning. Hi. Morning. I like your seal. I love him. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's um, he's dated. I even have the paperwork on him. Um, Salty or he's salt? He's signed by the artist. Yes, and um, he you have to mention that he lists on the internet for uh, twenty nine ninety five. I'm asking fifteen. For him. Here's the paperwork for nineteen ninety six. Tim Wolf is the artist, mm -hmm. and his name's right there. Yeah. He's so cute, isn't he? he uh, is if cute. you've ever been to California, it reminds me of all the seals. Oh, yeah, all the seals out there. Yeah. Huh. Plus, it reminds me of my dog, uh, who's a shih tzu, who swims in the water and plays with the ball. And yeah. just like seals are just dogs for mermaids. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they are. <laughs> I never heard of that. Yep. All right. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you. Do you still have that camera you had the other day? That? The, that Pentax camera? Um, yeah. You do have it? No? Yeah? You sold it? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. The little plane. That is a. That is a microplane. Those are originals. Yeah, that looks pretty. 1984. What are you asking for it? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen? Yeah. I take twenty-five for both of those. Those are both eighty. They got some Star Wars stuff too. Ten dollars each, but somebody buys them all eight dollars. I don't really normally bring out vintage Star Wars, but I have doubles and triples. So. Yeah, that's cool, man. Those are. Yeah, those these are, are from like the 70s, 70s, right? They all 77 to 85. This is the first. This is the first 77. Actually, this one's not. Uh, this is 10 bucks for this guy because he's. Uh, this is 19 whatever eight or something. That's that's. I sell those all. Like that. This is this is 77. Mm -hmm. And which is the other 77? One of them is the There's two seven. That's one seven. I thought that Princess Leia. This guy for sure had a great selection of vintage toys to choose from, but I don't really know a lot about that category. And it seemed like his prices were just under eBay. So I didn't really see anything that I felt like I could buy and be able to flip with some meat left on the bone. So I told him I'd come back. There's a few things that I may grab for a close friend of mine. So we'll see that later. Hey, hey, what's man, up? I saw your YouTube. Uh, videos, oh, you did? Dude. Yeah, man, that's the site, dude. Awesome, thanks, man. Yeah, good I appreciate job, you brother. watching. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, subscribe. I appreciate that. What's up, man? Hey, how are you? I'm blessed again, man. Junior, right? Yes, sir. Good to see you. Good to be seen. <laughs> that's a good response. <laughs> Salad Master. Electric skillet. Junior, what you asking on this? 
not bad. Just like you, you can't blow the room. You ain't bringing the wife today. It's a little Casio. How much are your watches? Fifteen apiece. What you think about fifty dollars for this and the and the watch? Sounds good. I appreciate you. I'm assuming it works. Yes, sir. I, I trust you. I guarantee my stuff. I'm gonna put this on. How about that? Right. Look good. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think it looked good with two or three more on there. Two or three more. Yeah, that's right. So when I saw that this electric skillet was Salad Master brand, I got pretty excited. Last year on my YouTube channel, we were doing the Goodwill Mystery Palettes. I found a Salad Master pot that was a little bit smaller than this, had a lid, it was non-electric, just a pot, and I believe that sold for like 80 bucks plus shipping. So I knew Salad Master was a good brand. As long as this thing works, it looks like sold tops are anywhere from $170 to $200 plus shipping. There's also, this bottle that we have here is called the Salad Master 7256. Uh, 12 inch electric skillet, but there's also a Salad Master K7256 that you guys should definitely be on the lookout for. It looks like those can sell for $250 to $300 plus shipping. It's, it's crazy that people are spending this amount of money on an electric skillet, but that's what you get when you, when you find these high quality brands like Salad Master, Le Creuset, things like that. So this was definitely an awesome find. Shout out Junior for the good price on that. The Casio watch that I picked up, I don't think it's worth a ton of money. It's, uh, just a Casio quartz something. I think the date function is messed up. I can't get that to change, but uh, I was just trying to bundle something in. I only had a $50 bill and I don't want to make him give me change. So I uh, threw that in, probably keep it for personal use. I might can sell it for 20 bucks, who knows? But uh, the Salad Master Pan, that was a good buy at Junior's uh, stand. Round one at the flea market is complete. I've already dropped off the load back at the car. I've got a fresh Ikea bag. Gonna make one more round, see if we can find anything that we missed on the first go round. Is this yours? Yeah. What are you asking for the Tonka car carrier? Uh, that ain't the price on it. Probably forty dollars. Forty dollars. Carry is worth just that backing is worth it. Yeah. I'm not a big collector of that stuff anymore. Yeah. I'm sure it's worth it. So you said what would you say these were fifteen a piece or ten a piece earlier? Oh, fifteen a piece. Well two for twenty five, I think. Two for twenty five, yeah. that's what you said. Yeah. And Star Wars are already gone. So. Yeah, I figured somebody picked those up. Yeah, just now you were coming, this other guy that I sell stuff to. Um, if you wanted both of those, uh, you got 25. Give me 30 bucks and you can have them both. 30 bucks. Yep. I think that's fair. I, I think that's fair. fair too. I'm always fair with you. You get your bag, you have to put it in that bag, get another one. All I got is fifties. You got a, you got, got a change. twenty. Okay. Yeah, cool. these, these are. I've never seen these. Out. I, I yeah, tr I've seen them here and there, but never. You know, sometimes they're open. Yeah. So we got twenty five. We got thirty dollars, right? Yeah. And you so give you me a fifty, and I'm gonna give you a twenty back. There you go. I Thank appreciate you, you, sir. No problem. Enjoy your day. Man. Thank you. So I grabbed these cool vintage Ghostbusters toys and the two Jurassic Park candy eggs for 30 bucks. I don't think there's a lot of room for profit to be made on these things, but my friend Rick over at the Retro Rick YouTube channel collects all things 80s and 90s nostalgia. He's got a great channel and one of the best 80s and 90s collections I have seen personally. So uh, I'm going to be sending these things to him to add to his collection. Rick, shout out you if you're watching this video. If you guys haven't seen his channel, definitely check it out. I will have it linked in the description down below. 30 bucks is not a bad price to pay for these. There may be a little bit of meat left on the bone, but I didn't buy these to resell. I bought them to give away. What you asking for this sweater? Two bucks. Man. Two bucks. Yeah, $2. I'll give you two bucks for it. There you go. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. So I grabbed this cool sweater for two bucks. It was giving me some Coogee vibes, but unfortunately it was not Coogee. This is a Roundtree and York tall man, size LT, uh, two bucks. I, I mean, something like this would maybe sell pretty well on Poshmark or Depop for maybe 20 to 30 bucks. So turn a two into 20 or 30, I'll take that. Lake Crusade. How much are you asking for your pot? That one, 50. 50? Yeah, that's that's not a bad price. All right, I still got the bill. I don't remember. Did you say twenty or twenty-five? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, I'll I'll do twenty on it. I think it's pretty cool. It is. Thank you. Absolutely. You can check out the YouTube channel. You'll you'll be on it. And I meant to, I use I know you said Harry something. Harry tornado. Harry tornado. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna put that and make a note. I'll check this, it out. This this video will be posted tomorrow. 
See ya. I don't. I, I have the camera pointed down, so it just shows the transactions and the items. I try not to get anybody's faces on there. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, Zoe, I'm out of here. Have a good one, man. Yeah, I did. I always like made the choice, like, do I go to the flea market or clearance center? And then today I was like, I could do both. <laughs> like, there's like three or four hour gap. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll see you there. So now I'm headed to the Goodwill bins. We got about 10 minutes before it opens up. What I like about the idea of coming to both the flea market and the bins in the same day is that at the flea market, you're kind of paying up for stuff. I mean, you paid 60 bucks for all those video games, 50 bucks for the skillet and the watch that I've got on my hand right now. Balancing paying up for stuff at the flea market with coming to the Goodwill bins on half off day, paying pennies on the dollar for this stuff. That really makes me feel better about the amount of, amount of money we're spending today. All right, let's see what we're working with today. These, I don't know what they are. Wolverine. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Grab that. Good. Found this pair of Echo golf shoes, yak leather, and the other one, I believe, this right here. These are in good shape. Yeah. Definitely get those. Get these cleaned up. So when I found this big stitch plush at the bins, I almost didn't get it because it's going to be kind of annoying to ship. It's heavy. You got to put it in a box. But I was like, it's a very recognizable character and this only cost me 50 cents. They charge for plush at my Goodwill bins. So you can get a whole uh, like garbage bag full of plush for 50 cents. And she just counted this as a whole bag because it would probably fill up a whole bag. It's 24 inches long. I just looked up soul comps on eBay for my stitch here and I am actually astonished i cannot believe that some people will pay this much money for a stitch plush it's 24 inches so it's really big but there's sold comps for 150 bucks free shipping now this will probably have to go with ups ground so it'll probably cost like i don't know 20 bucks or so to ship out but still turning 50 cents into 150 dollars free shipping this is pretty good so i think that may be it for the goodwill bins today they only put out these two rows of new stuff behind me and i've already been through the whole section like two or three times uh unfortunately it's not uh, not quite as good as normal but it's half off so they're not going to spend a lot of money on the stuff we did get how are you doing good how are you is this guy weighed too no i could do it as a bag of stuff i'm still in a bag yeah what was that 50 cents okay I, I don't have any change. All I have is a five and a fifty. Yeah, you said six cents. Mm -hmm. There thank, you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate you that. Have a seat? There you go. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you for the six cents. Oh, you're welcome. I will be forever in your debt. Oh. Have a good day. Let's run on the retail side real fast. Let's see what me and Stitch can pick up today. What's going on, Josh? Hey, what's up, man? Watch your videos. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Find anything good? Uh, some, some merls. Yeah, those are good. Good, good to see you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Those are pretty cool. These are also pretty cool. BOC. Yeah, I'll get those too. What do we have? Chacos down here? Yeah. Those are in good shape. Hello, how are you? Good. And everything else I got next door. Okay. Do you have to okay. around that? Uh, sure. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you. You too. So with BOC clogs and Chacos, I don't pick them up every time I see them. With BOCs, it has to be in perfect condition, like nowhere at all, and it has to be a pretty interesting colorway. These are like 
black and gray and white swirls. I cannot find any of these listed or sold on eBay. But if you just look up BOC clogs on eBay, you'll see that some of them have sold for upwards of $100 in used condition. Generally, the average sold comp for BOC clogs is probably closer to 30, but the unique ones that people can't seem to find are the ones that are selling for high dollar amounts. So being that I can't find one like this listed or sold, and it's in basically like new condition, I'm gonna get this bad boy listed for probably $84.99 free shipping. Turn on best offer and see what happens. The same with Chaco, they have to be in excellent condition. If there's any issues with the straps, like fraying or little cuts or anything like that, or any major wear on the bottom, I'm gonna avoid picking those up just because there's so many on the market on eBay right now. I do think these will probably sell better for you on Facebook, Marketplace, or Poshmark, so we'll probably get these listed on those platforms. It is certainly not a bad day in terms of sourcing. We found some great stuff at the flea market, some really cool stuff at the Goodwill bins, and some really nice shoes at the regular Goodwill as well. I'm on the way home, but there's one more Goodwill I'm gonna stop at to see if we can round off this nice sourcing day. Excuse me, sir. Harry Tornado. That's crazy. Do you watch my video or something? For sure. What's I up? Man? Yes, I appreciate it. That's Find anything good today? True religion hoodie. Oh, true religion hoodie. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Carhartt's great. It's, it's so popular with like hipsters, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Man. <laughs> awesome. What's your name? James. James? Cool, man. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you bro. Yep. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Wait, where are you from, man? I'm from here. I live like 10 minutes away. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't seen me yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm always around, man. Oh, look at here, baby. Oh, man. Okay, so look, look at this. The bottoms are mint, but look at that. Look at that. What in the world happened? Who <laughs> who runs so vigorously that they almost wear a hole straight through the hilka without putting any wear on the bottoms? That is crazy. Oh, and they're ripped right there. Rip. Didn't find anything today, James. You did better than me. I, I, know, I knew it was your gimmick because of the GoPro. Right? Yeah, not too many people wearing these around. Yeah. You want to hear any other spots today, probably? I don't think so. I went to the flea market this morning and then I went to the Goodwill bins after that and then the regular Goodwill next to the bins. So this is my last stop. I'm going to go home and get some of this stuff listed. Can't sell if you don't list it. Right. That's what I'm struggling with. I it's, have to jam all these listings in before within the next month because I leave to go play basketball overseas. Oh, wow. So like, I've been, I, I have a lot of inventory that I've been just trying to get listed so far. I've yeah. just been on Depop so far, but yeah, I mean, it's Depop more, is probably the the, easy, the best platform for the stuff you're yeah, buying. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. So, all right, man. Well, good luck playing basketball. Thank you, bro. Yep. Good meeting you. What team are you playing for? Or BK Dukes in Austria. BK Dukes in Austria. Cool. Shout out James. Sure. Nice truck. Dirty Murray on Depop. Dirty Murray. Dirty Murray. Dirty Murray. Dirty Murray. Gotcha. So we didn't find anything at that last Goodwill, so I came here to my local car wash. I have a membership here. You pay like, I don't know, it's like 30 bucks a month and you get one car wash per day. Shout out Frank's Car Wash. I kind of like it. It's nice and therapeutic, relaxing. So all in all, our day sourcing at the flea market, the Goodwill bins, and two Goodwills in the same day was pretty successful. We had the sealed video games, we got the stitch plush, we got the electric skillet. I don't know exactly how much profit we'll make total. I haven't sat down and done the math yet, but I would say if we don't make at least 500 bucks in profit once all this stuff is sold after fees, shipping, and all the expenses that come along with it, uh, I, I think I'll be pretty surprised if we don't hit that $500 mark. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it at all, all I ask is that you take two seconds out of your day and just hit that like button for me down below. It's totally free, really helps me and the channel out a ton. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.